Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bag comparison video for you and we all know how I love my comparison videos. And if you've been watching my channel, you may know that I recently picked up a Givenchy Antigona in the size mini in faux crocodile. And I have it right here and it's just such a beautiful bag. And I got this um, from the Black Friday Essence sale and I've been absolutely loving it. But I've already had the Givenchy Antigona in the size small in the smooth black leather. And these bags have a lot of things in common and then there's some differences about them. And I think a lot of people might be trying to decide between these two materials, between the faux crocodile and the smooth black leather, and also between the sizes, between the size mini versus the size small. So I figured I'd come on here, i do a comparison video. We'll be comparing both the texture of the leathers and also the size. We're gonna be talking about the specs of each bag, what fits in them, the pros and the cons, and of course, what I prefer. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about these two bags, keep watching. Okay guys, let's start off with the price differences. So the Givenchy Antigona in the mock croc in the mini size in the United States usually retails for $1,990. So I got mine during the Essence Black Friday sale for $1,473. And that sale is actually still going on right now. I'll link the bag down below in the description box just in case you're interested in it. But that's what I was able to pay for. But normally it does retail for $1,990. Now this bag also comes in the size small. So it's one size larger than this. And in the mock croc, the size small retails in the United States usually for $2,490. It is, however, also on sale on the Essence website for $1,967, so I'll link that down below as well. Okay, let's compare that to the Givenchy and the smooth leather. So the Givenchy Anticona also comes in a smooth leather and a pebbled leather. This is the smooth leather. If you were to get the smooth leather version in the mini size, which is this, you would pay in the United States around $1,790. Now, if you were going to get this exact combination, the size small in the smooth leather, you would pay $2,290 in the United States. So there is a little bit of a price difference between these two bags. In general, the faux crocodile is more expensive than the smooth leather or the pebbled leather Givenchy Antigonas. So just keep that in mind when you're making your purchase. Okay, guys, let's start off with the details of my mini Givenchy Antigona in the faux crocodile. So this bag is gorgeous. I'm just gonna show you guys them together really quick one more time just so you can see the size difference. As you can see, the size mini is a lot smaller than the size small. There is one size larger than the small guys and that is the size medium and it is huge guys. It is very, very big and it holds a lot. So for me, the size small is still quite big, but as you can see, the small and the mini, there's quite a difference. Okay, so in the mini Givenchy Antigona, all Givenchy Antigonas come with these two handles and they stick straight up. They don't collapse or fold over or anything like that. All Givenchy Antigonas also come with this super chunky zipper. I think the zipper can be really like love it or hate it. I love it. I think it makes it really edgy. I think it makes it really fresh. I really love the chunky zipper on this. This is in the gold hardware, which I think is really nice because most of the other Antigonas come with silver hardware. My smooth leather Antigona has silver hardware. My red pebbled leather Antigona also has silver hardware. So I think it's just nice that this one comes in gold and makes it a little bit dressier and kind of just mixes things up a little bit. You also have the gold Givenchy right here on this tab of leather that kind of sticks out and it's a little bit puffy looking. Now, as you can see the sides, they kind of dome out a little bit, as you can see, kind of slant out a tad bit and come a little bit to a point here. Not as much as the Alma BB. Let me show you guys this really quickly. So this is the Alma BB by Louis Vuitton in comparison to the Givenchy Antigona in the mini size. So just as you can tell here, they look pretty similar when you look at them from this angle, but when you hold them to the side, you can tell that the Givenchy Antigona is just a lot larger than the Alma BB. The Alma BB comes to a point a lot more here than the Givenchy Antigona, which is why you can fit so much more in the mini Givenchy Antigona than you can in the Alma BB. Although they look similar from this side, they are very, very different in capacity. On the bottom here, you have these two leather bits here that kind of act like feet. I think that metal feet would have been a lot nicer. I would have preferred metal feet on this bag, but I'm glad that they at least have these leather tabs raised here because they do kind of protect the bag a little bit on the bottom. So. Now the bag also comes with this detachable leather strap, which I think is really nice. So it's faux crocodile on one side of the strap and then it's regular smooth leather on the other side. 
And this just attaches by these two D-rings here on the bag. Now when you open the bag here, you can see it is just basically a big black empty space inside. There is one zipper slip pocket in the back and then two slip pockets here in the front. And it is a cloth interior. And as you can see, it is very dark and small in the opening here. So that is definitely a con and we'll get into that in a second. Pro okay guys, let's talk about the pros of this bag. One pro of this bag is you can wear it in a lot of different ways. It comes with a long strap, so you can definitely wear it crossbody. You can also wear it long over one shoulder. You can carry it handheld, and you can also put it over your arm like so. Now this isn't technically on the crook of my arm because it is not gonna go down much further down my forearm as you can see, but you can put it through your arm like this if you would like to. So yes, there's lots of different ways that you can wear this, which makes it very, very versatile. Another pro about this bag is it definitely makes a statement. The faux crocodile is so shiny and beautiful. You can definitely spot it from far, far away. It's absolutely gorgeous. I definitely, definitely think that it's a pro. I think it can elevate any outfit when you're wearing it. Um, it's just, it's just such a beautiful bag. Another pro about this bag is I really do think you're just going to be able to wipe it clean. Although I'm not planning to just throw this bag around, I'm not too worried about it. I do think that most things will just wipe clean off of this bag. I Obviously, I wouldn't want to drag this against a brick wall or anything that could really scratch it. But for the most part, I'm not too, too worried about the material. It's funny because I was actually trying to see if my fingerprints would stick to it. So I was really touching it like this. And surprisingly, they don't show up that much on the bag. I, and I think that's just because it's such a textured material. I think if it was completely smooth, then maybe you would see the fingerprints, but since you have the faux crocodile texture, you don't really see the fingerprints, which is actually a really nice thing. Oh, another pro about this bag is it fits so much in it, guys. Although it is a mini bag and although it is very small and smaller than obviously the other size of the bag, it can fit a lot in it. I do think you can get all of your essentials and more into this bag. So capacity wise, I don't think you'll have a problem carrying this. Okay guys, let's get into the cons about this bag. So the bag does have a few cons and a few of them are actually around the strap. So as I said before, the strap is completely detachable, which I love about straps. I think it's great when you can just take them completely off. But the way this strap attaches can be problematic. So as you can see, there's two D rings one on either side, and there's actually a little divot in the D-ring, and that is where that strap attaches. So there's a divot there on the D-ring, and then there's a slit here on the ring that the strap is on, and it, they just fit together there, and that's how they go on. So the slit fits over the divot, and it kind of just slides on. So it seems easy, and I think that they did it that way to make it maybe I don't know, maybe they thought that a clip would look a little bit, I don't know, less refined, I don't know. <laughs> but they decided not to do a clip and they decided to do it like that, which can be problematic because I do have this bag also in the red pebbled leather, guys. I will be selling it shortly. But I have had a problem with the strap on that one in the past. But what happened was I was wearing it crossbody and I was walking around and it fell off on one side. So I guess the divot and the slit kind of just lined up perfectly and the strap just fell. Luckily the other strap was still attached, but it almost hit the ground and that did kind of scare me because when you pay a lot of money for a bag, the last thing you want it to do is to drag on the concrete. Um, definitely, definitely would be a problem with how shiny and slick this material would be. I would not like that. Um, so that's a little problematic. I think it would have been more secure maybe if it had been clipped on completely. So I don't know if anyone else has had that issue with the strap falling off like that. Let me know in the comment box below if you've had that issue, I'm just curious. Another negative about the strap on the mini is that although it is adjustable, as you can see here, there is these two little knob things right here. They're not quite snaps and they're not quite buttons. So they're, you snap them off, but they have to kind of go through like a button, if that makes any sense. But there's two on each side to adjust. However, to adjust these, you really have to really, really tug really hard. And to be honest, I've never adjusted the strap on my mini Antigona in the red, just because it was so difficult. And I don't see myself doing an adjustment on this bag either. So although I think it's good that it is possible for you to make an adjustment to the strap, I think that it is very, very hard to do so. And therefore I would consider that a con. 
Another con about this bag is the opening, guys. The opening is very, very small. So as you can see, it does not stretch open very wide at all. And I think that that is because of a few things. I think one, this material in the faux crocodile is very, very stiff. I think that if it was in the pebble leather, it would be more forgiving. I also think it is a brand new bag, so I think it could loosen up with time, but I do think that the material in the faux crocodile will make it pretty stiff in the long run. So I think it can, it will be able to open up a little bit more, but honestly, probably not that much more in the future. So the small opening could be an issue for you for getting items in and out of the bag. You know, when you're sticking your hand in, your hand can get caught on the zipper here. Um, and when you're pulling things out, that can be a little cumbersome. That's just something to keep in mind in the future if that's something that bothers you. For instance, I know a lot of people have had that issue with the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 bandolier. Um, I know people have complained that the mouth opening on the Speedy 25 is a lot smaller than the Speedy 30 and so that they end up catching their hands on the zipper. So if you have a problem with that and that's something that you really don't like with the Speedy B25, uh, I think you might also have that problem with this bag. So just keep that in mind when you're making your decision. Another con about this bag is that it is a complete black hole here, guys. It's completely black. Um, so you have the zipper pocket in the back and then you have two slip pockets here in the front. But other than that, it is a black fabric. And so it is really hard for you to see inside and get out your items. So for me, I will be using a lot of my colorful SLGs just so I can find them inside. But that is definitely a con that if you're looking for your items, they might be kind of hard to spot. Another con about this bag is that since it is so structured and it holds its shape very well, when you wear it crossbody, it will stick out from your body. So that's just something to keep in mind. I know some people like bags that lay very flat on them when they're wearing them crossbody. I don't especially love bags that stick out too far, but this one does hang low enough for me that it doesn't bother me too much. But I wanted to mention that just in case that that's something that might bother you. And lastly, like I said before, I do think it is con that the handles are not long enough for you to be able to properly wear this over the crook of your arm. I think that would have been a nice added touch, but I understand since the bag is so small that it makes sense for the handles to be proportional. Okay guys, let's talk about the Givenchy Antigona in the size small in the smooth leather. Now guys, this leather is very, very beautiful. Actually, when I was first looking at the Givenchy Antigona, I made the mistake of being a little bit too scared of the smooth leather, which is how I ended up with my red pebbled leather Antigona, which is the one I will be selling <laughs> shortly. But the smooth leather is absolutely beautiful. It's what I was attracted to in the first place. I was just a little bit nervous about how it was going to wear, but I have been very pleasantly surprised guys with the smooth leather. I think that it has worn super well. I don't have any scratches on the bag at all. None whatsoever. You do get some fingerprints on this bag, but they kind of just absorb pretty quickly and I don't notice them at all. If they do bother you, you can just wipe them clean, obviously. I haven't gotten anything spilled on this bag, but I really do think that if I did, I could probably just wipe it off clean since the material is so smooth. Again, this is a bag that I wouldn't want to be rubbing up against anything, especially something that could be a scratchy material, just because I would want to keep this leather very smooth and pristine. Um, it's Both of these bags I think are great because I think that they're both all weather type of bags. I don't think you have to worry about rain or snow or anything like that. I think these bags will just do great in it, which I love. One thing that I will say in terms of the leather difference is I will say that this is a smooth leather and this is the faux crocodile. And the faux crocodile I really think is kind of, it's kind of in between the smooth leather and a patent leather, if that makes any sense. So it's not quite just the smooth leather and it's not a patent leather. It's somewhere in between the two, if that makes any sense. As you can see, both of these are very shiny bags. Um, this is a little bit more glossy, a little bit more patent looking. Um, but this bag is also very, very beautiful and I absolutely love it. Again, it has the two handles that stick straight up here. It has the Givenchy, this time in silver hardware, and it's a little puffy here as well. Again, we have the super thick, chunky zipper, but this time in silver hardware. The bottom, again, does not have metal feet, but it does have these leather tabs that stick up that kind of act like feet as well. Yeah, and it's the exact same shape as the mini Antigona, just as you can tell, larger.
Now, when you unzip the bag like this, the zipper is so smooth, guys. I love that on it. Again, you have a zipper pocket here in the back and then two slip pockets in the front. Again, it is just a big black empty hole with a black cloth fabric lining. So again, it makes it kind of difficult to see your items inside since it is all black. So again, I will be utilizing colorful SLGs whenever I'm wearing this bag. Okay guys, let's talk about the pros of this. So again, the pro is I think you can just wipe this bag clean, like I said, I think all weatherproof, I think it's absolutely great. It's not as delicate as you would think. So I was really nervous about smooth leather. I thought the pebbled leather would probably be a little bit hardier, it would just hold up a little bit better, but I have been very pleasantly surprised and I do not regret buying this in smooth leather at all at all guys. I think that it looks beautiful in pebble leather as well, but I do think that the smooth leather gives it a little something extra, just elevates it a little bit. I think it makes it look a little bit edgier and just a little bit more fashionable. Another pro about this bag is it holds so much, guys. It holds so much in this bag. You can really, I think, carry everything and the kitchen sink in this bag, and I will show you in a minute just what I mean. But yes, the capacity of this bag is definitely, definitely a pro. Again, another pro about this bag is like the other one, this bag makes a statement. I've said in a previous video that I love wearing this bag in the fall and winter because it is such a big bag. I think it balances really great on, with large jackets and coats and I just love it. Now the handle drop on this bag is larger than the handle drop on the mini bag. So as I showed you before, you cannot wear the mini bag on the crook of your arm, but I can get my entire arm into the small Antigona. So as you can see, the crook of the arm on the small Antigona is not a problem at all. So that is definitely a pro about this bag. Okay, so a con about this bag is that the strap is not adjustable. It comes completely off again in the same exact way as the other one does. So that's still a problem for me that it doesn't clip directly on, that it could still fall off. So that's a problem. But this one also does not give you that option to adjust. And I think it would be nice if you were able to adjust this. I think that the strap drop is very nice on this bag. I think it really does hang at a good length, but still everyone is different heights and it's always great to have an adjustable strap whenever possible. And the last con about this bag is it's probably not as durable as pebbled leather. I don't see that as a con necessarily because I think the look of the smooth leather just really outweighs that con. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Again, I wouldn't carry this up against a scratchy wall or anything like that, and maybe I'd be more careful about what surface I'm putting it down on, but not enough for me to want to baby this bag by any means, guys. And to be honest, if I had this in pebbled leather, I would probably be looking out for the same things anyway. I don't think if I had this bag in pebbled leather that I would be you know, rubbing up against walls more or not worrying about where I put it down. Um, so I don't really find that much of a con in that sense, but if you are someone who really does prefer pebbled leather and the hardiness of it, then that that's just something to keep in mind. Guys. Okay guys, let's get into capacity. So as I said before, these bags can fit so, so much in them. So let's get started and I'll show you what we can fit in the mini size. Okay, so we have my mini Givenchy Antigona here in the faux crocodile. So the first thing we're gonna put in is we're gonna put in a full size wallet. So this is my Louis Vuitton Emily wallet. So we will put that in, it goes in no problem. I didn't have to turn it to the side at all when I was fitting it in. So as you can see, goes right in. There you go. So we have that in there. I was actually trying to find a water bottle in my house and I have no water bottles apparently right now. So I have this travel coffee mug. This is my Kate Spade travel coffee mug that I bring with me to work pretty much every single day. So we will put that inside here. So I did have to turn it to the side, but it is, it is in there. As you can see, I don't necessarily see any reason why I would be carrying this mug in my bag, but it fits, just so you know. So a water bottle, I definitely, definitely think will fit in this bag, not a problem. Let's throw in my mini pochette. Let's get some sunglasses in there. Pack of tissues. And a lipstick. All right guys, we got a lot in there and we definitely could get a few more items in there for sure, especially small items. But So as you guys can see, that zips up and it fits perfectly. There's no bulging, nothing going on and we could definitely slide more things in there, guys. We could definitely put some more makeup in there. We could put another card holder in there, no problem. All these things will fit inside. This bag fits so much even though it's a mini size. So let me pull out all the things that we have inside here just so we can recap. So we have a small card holder by Chanel. 
We have my Diff sunglasses. We have a pack of tissues. We have some lipstick. We have my Louis Vuitton Damier Ben mini pochette. And of course, we have my travel Kate Spade mug. So all of that just fit into, oh, just kidding. Forgot about the full size Emily wallet, guys. So all of that just came out of my mini Antigona. So guys, as you can see, this fits so much in it. So as I said before, I don't think capacity or how much this bag can carry will be a problem for you guys. I think you'll be able to fit all of your essentials and more. Um, the only issue you might have is with the opening and catching your hand or your items when you're putting them in your bag and pulling them out. So that's just something to keep in mind for when you're making the purchase. We, okay guys, now we have my small Antigona. So we're gonna put all the items that we had in the other bag in here and we're gonna put more. So let's see what we got. So let's start off with all the same items. So we started off with the Emily Wallet by Louis Vuitton. We put in my Kate Spade travel coffee mug. Let's see, we got the pack of tissues. We have the Diff sunglass case here. We got my mini pochette. We have the Chanel card holder here. And guys, there's just so much more room. We can put more things in here. There's just so much space in here. Let's put my pochette accessoire in there. We can do that, no problem. Let's see, put some lipstick in. I forgot to put that in. Put this hairbrush in. Let's see what else we can get in there. We can get my round coin purse by Louis Vuitton in there. Let's put my phone in there. All right, guys, there's more things that we could put in there, but that's all I'm putting in there for right now because it's starting to get pretty heavy and I don't think I would ever carry more than this in here. You could also, in the winter time, put a hat in here, gloves, a scarf, no problem. That's something that I sometimes carry with me in the winter. So that would not be a problem at all. I will say that when it starts to get this full, it does start to get pretty heavy, guys. So that's just something to keep in mind. And okay, guys, let's just recap real quick about what fit inside. So inside here, we were able to get my phone, regular iPhone, my pochette accessoire by Louis Vuitton. We got a little brush in here. We have my mini pochette. We have my Diff sunglass case, my thin Chanel card case. We have tissues, my Emily wallet, full size, my round coin purse, and then lipstick, and of course, my Kate Spade mug. So all of that, guys, was in this bag. And, and as I said before, you can fit more items in it. That's just what I chose to put in right now. But as you can see, you can pretty much fit everything in the kitchen sink in this bag. But yeah, I think both bags really do carry a lot. Obviously, one is a little bit more of a mini bag, clearly, than the other, but I think you can still get everything you need into this mini bag rather than the size small. It's really just what you prefer, what you think is more beautiful, and what you think would be more useful for your lifestyle. Okay, guys, so which bag do I refer? First, let's talk about material, the leather. And guys, this is really hard for me because I love both of these very, very much. I think they both look great aesthetically. I think that... Obviously, this is a newer bag to me, so I've had less time to wear it and enjoy it, where I've had this bag for a few years now. I think that this bag here in the faux crocodile can go day to night a little bit easier, um, but I do think that both of them are dressy enough for you to wear in the evening. I think that might be more about the size of the bag than anything, but if I had to just pick one, ooh, so hard. Right now, I think I would pick the faux crocodile. And that just might be, to be honest, because crocodile is so in right now. Now, crocodile is something that I like on a normal basis. I usually have faux crocodile shoes in my closet or a bag or something. So it's something that I think is also very classic and not just trendy right now. But right now, it is also very much on trend. So we, I add that into the factor right now. So I think that I'm really preferring this one right now. I do think that this bag is very classic and I love wearing this bag, especially in the fall and winter to elevate outfits. And I will not be getting rid of this bag anytime soon. But if I had to pick just one material right now, it would be the faux crocodile. Okay, now we're talking size, guys. 
Now, this is a tricky question too, because I use them both in different ways. Since this bag is smaller and a more of a mini bag, I think that I can wear this on a more regular basis. This bag definitely makes a statement both with the material and the size. And so I think I have to be a little bit more thoughtful when I'm pairing this with an outfit. So just because of the size, I think that this is more versatile for me right now. I can wear it with different types of outfits. I think because it's smaller and it has the gold hardware, I can dress it up and wear it out in the evening a little bit more. I do think that in terms of versatility, the mini is a better choice. But I think if you're trying to make a statement with this bag, and I think this is a great bag to make a fashion statement with just because it is such a, such a big and cool bag, I think you can definitely make more of a statement with the larger size, with the size small. So that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. So although I do think that this bag is better probably for me for a day-to-day -day purposes, I do think that this bag makes more of a fashion statement. Okay guys, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I do still love both of these bags, guys. I'll have to update you guys down the road and let you know if I still am wearing both or if one seems more redundant now that I have both the faux crocodile and the smooth leather, I'll have to keep you updated. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to consider subscribing down below so you can come back and see me. Okay guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.